So Nicholas will be doing a summary called the Spank and Wonder. Finding the mystic <coughs> and mysterious Kinshu Green ever since young, Nicholas now shares his view on the current increasing trend from belief in the signs and wonders that have been clogging the world, clogging the world. Let us welcome Nicholas in. sometimes we hear about. And these sometimes strike fear in your hearts. But what I feel about these and also the signs of a super moon that is going to be uh, it's going to be a harbinger of doom and gloom for everyone. What I feel about all these signs and wonders is that they're actually just hypes created by certain member society to instill and enhance fear in all of our hearts. Mm. What I feel is that there's actually a logical explanation behind each and every of these occurrences. For instance, taking into account someone saying that fish died mysteriously a few days before the Great Tohoku earthquake, which is the Japanese earthquake that happened a few weeks ago fish died, then they were like, who is is so um, um, mysterious, so magical, it's, it's going to be the end of the world, you can see it. You know, it's, it's said so in, in, in the holy book, that there's going to be signs from the sea, there's, there's going to precede natural disasters like the earth shaking. Um, what I feel is that there could probably be a, be a logical explanation, probably the fish wanted to die together, or probably there was a disease outbreak that people didn't even know about that there, there might be diseases that nobody knows about that hit the fish and what the scientists explain is that who is this mysterious how the fish die we, we do not know how the fish die so it's a uh, there are logical explanations behind all these science and wonders and also the, another reason is Hollywood they provide they have provided tons of end time movies like 2012 is the most recent one. There's, uh, there's outbreak, there's 12 monkeys, all describing all these calamities, the knowing, uh, even I don't like M. Night Shyamalan. But it, it, was a, it was kind of a good movie describing that there's this big fireball that was sold out. It's, it's actually to, to, to kind of to drive the point home you know, to, to the to the people watching that. You know, you know, time on Earth is literally short, is the Earth is going to explode and things. However, I don't think that will be the case. You know, it's, it's asking us to actually imagine the impossibilities of uh, such, such things happening. Um, there, are, there are lots of um, there are lots of things that can be explained away logically and scientifically all the wars that you see, some people are saying, oh, that's a sign that things are going to come to a very sharp end, that things are going to come to a sudden end, some people are going to be disappeared from the face of the earth, and after a while they're going to come back, and during that time there's going to be a lot of suffering in the earth. I'm sure you have heard that. But instead of going towards that direction, perhaps some of these people have, can stop and think. You know, use the brain that has been given to them to reason logically, to come up with a peaceful democratic solution instead of shouting to everyone, the world is coming to an end, see all these wars, see all these outbreaks, see all these diseases. It's, uh, it, I find it hilarious. I find it funny <coughs> that people actually do this to try to get people to adopt some kind of belief system or force people into believing that oh, there's, there's, a, there's a high power. No, I, I believe that everyone has their own free will and 
shouldn't be forced to go in anywhere. And all of us are given a brain to, to think logically, to think rationally, to reason, to reason things in, in probably a factual manner. So, and then there's the fact about the Mayan calendar. Mayan calendar is going to end on December 21st, 2012, which is just next year. And there was that movie 2012 that was made. Now, I feel it's just a movie for pure entertainment. There's a lot of special effects in that. I, I personally haven't seen the movie. But if you have seen the movie, well, okay. It's just pure entertainment. I, I, I don't think all those things are going to happen. It's just a, a logical explanation could be maybe they just ran out of stone. Or, yeah, no, the stone has only so much space on it. How, how could you how could you write like beyond 22nd December? No, it's just, no, there's a logical explanation. So, what I feel is that society should actually sit down and, and think and come up with come up with reasons to actually solve and tackle the problems at hand, like especially wars, especially especially diseases, outbreaks. Come up with solutions to tackle these problems and you know, the world will be a better place rather than everyone being fearful that the that the rule of the world will end and everything is going to come to an end and all our lives are finite and short. There's no choice but to just uh, hang in there and you know, hopefully you know, we'll be in a better place some, some other time. All right. I think that's all just fear. It's, it's all just fear that's still and possibly enhanced by those people uh, carrying, <coughs> carrying those placards around and chanting slogans and all those sermons and stuff. Well, so to conclude, all of humanity must unite peacefully and logically work together to solve the current issues that are at hand. And not to be so influenced by these individuals who try to instill fear in our hearts.
previous speeches, give us some thoughts, introduction, body, and conclusion. There were two body judges that learned in Project 5 for your body speaks, so you applied that as well, most obvious. And then, you turn your speech well, you finish your speech just in time. Then, moving to to areas for improvement. Well, if I may suggest, um, maybe you can further improve on your vocal variety. There are certain areas, a certain part of speech that you can um, stress or, how to say, um, use vocal variety to enhance your speech. For example, the world is going to end. Okay? There are certain parts if you use vocal variety now, like, the speech I think you will get the message across to the audience much better. And then your eye contact, I notice that you didn't really um, stare the audience. You were mostly looking at the floor most of the time and then um, I would suggest that you look at the audience in their eyes. Okay, look at Siva for two to three seconds, then two to three seconds, then one to two to three seconds, then two to three seconds, then two to three seconds, then left, right, okay? And then the conclusion, I find that um, you were not very firm. You can work on that. Say, uh, you urge the people to stay mental and make the place a better place to be firm. Okay. So I think you were like not very firm. So in order to make your speech more impactful, you have to finish firm. So all in all, I enjoy your speech. And if more apprentices are well, they are well on the way to become a good speaker. Thank you. 